Back on site, currently what we're building up for the client is radiator covers. Tommy's broke out all the material at the minute. Here's all the front panels that he's cut out. There was a wee mock-up that we made up earlier on for the client, just to show a kind of small router detail. This isn't glue or anything like that, it's just a very rough, rough mock-up. So we've got a cap here, we've got the groove detail going round the top here. Third release panel in the back, skirting round the bottom and that should hopefully be enough to make it look like something when you come in the property just with all the small details adding up to one big item so hopefully they're going to be looking the part we'll have them fitted probably by friday we're hoping so we'll see how we get on this week but this is where we are at the minute so go on tan boy get that cut <laughs> Currently what we've got is we have the fronts for the radiator covers. So what we've done is we've done a router detail up the front. We're also going to router inside. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is get everything glued up, get them all ready, sanded, and then we'll run the router around the insides of them again. So stay with us, we'll show you the final result once we get them all fixed up and made. Back in the home workshop this morning, slash the garage. Currently what I'm doing is I'm ripping up some French cleats for the radiator covers that were installed last week in Bear's Den. So we're just getting them all finished this week. Hopefully another couple of days and we'll be done on them. So here I am at the moment, currently with the table saw. What I'm doing is I'm just ripping through at a 45 degree angle and it'll form this type of cleat, which will hold on the radiator covers onto the wall once they're all in place like so. Like that, that way. So yeah, so that's what we're up to right now. I'll show you a bit of footage of that and then we'll be back to the site in Bear's Den. That's all the cleats ripped up. So basically what I've got is I've ripped up 45 degree angle through each and every one of these and they will basically slot in with each other and that will pull the cover tight to the wall. So catch us back at Bear's Den once we're down and ready to get the rad covers installed.
that's us finished up here in Bear's Den. We've made nine of these beautiful radiator covers. With the floor de lease panels in the bottom. We've got a nice air gap, we've got floating detail, and we've scribed these all into the wall. These are sitting on a French cleat, which is a 245 degree angles, which I showed you in the previous slide from this. That's them, they sit on top and it holds them tight to the wall. Here's the wee alcove that we've finished as well. This is all ready to be painted by Fowlis. So that's us for Bear's Den today. We're back down to Jordan Hill tomorrow to help out our friend and get a few wee bits and pieces sorted for him. We'll see you there. Just, be be Just before we leave this job in Bear's Den, I thought I'd show you the old library we, we installed a few months back. So this was all done in Moisture Resistant MDF and painted by Fowlis. We've got our beautiful shaker style doors with the beaded insets. We've got our lights rebated into the top gym. And we've got some lovely floating details down here as well. This was a cracking unit and it was also complemented with a smaller one in the hall which just mirror images this and it's just a small version which is absolutely lovely. Couldn't leave here without showing you them. Back in the flat down Jordan Hill, today we've got a few wee door frames to put into place so here we are, look what's there, we're maybe going to do a wee drop down structure. Some of the frame sizes are a bit bigger than what we want them to be, some are smaller and it's already been plastered and painted mm -hmm. and not altered. So we'll see how we get on with the frames but there might be some redo works just to get everything back in place properly. So we'll see how we get on and we'll get what we can on worth of footage. So good progress today here in Jordan Hill. So that's three doors we've hung into new frameworks. So we've got them all on. I'm yet to put a wee stopper on the back of that. So that's us. I'll let myself out via the bottom. Um, we've got one, two, three doors all hung. We've just foamed these up with extra foam on it. We've just got the foam out of the can. We've not got the, the gun with the um, toggle on it. So it's a bit all over the place, but hey ho. It's uh, better to have the foam in than not. I'd rather see them fully fixed and foamed, and it just means that you know you're not going to move anywhere. So that's three doors all in. Tommy's upstairs in the last two upstairs until tomorrow when we're back in, and we're going to do the last two, one, two, and three over there, and that'll be us. That's us for today, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Back on site. We've just finished our lunch. <coughs> Didn't get much filming done this morning, or any filming done this morning this morning, this morning. Um, so here we are back again, we've got the doors in. I've just started marking out the wee latches. So we'll do a wee bit of footage, just showing us drilling out the latch and we'll show you that when it's all done. It's a nice wee Friday today, it's beautiful weather. So we're just enjoying our day here in sunny Jordan Hill.
That's how it's got the latch on. So we've got the wee handle installed, which is all looking good. Latch is in, keeper is on. These doors are going to get a full check rather than a thin check, so that means it's going to look similar to this. This is just a wee temporary measure. And I'm going to leave this wee video here. That's us finishing up for the weekend. Thanks for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed it. See you next week.